The best voice threads are truly interactive, with users listening and responding to one another. Highly accomplished voice threaders are constantly thinking while interacting with the voice thread presentation. They come to the conversation with an open mind, willing to reconsider their own positions, and willing to challenge the notions of others. To place a comment on a, a voice thread, a microphone is very important to leave audio comments on any slide. If a microphone is inaccessible, a phone line can be used to leave a comment. But for classroom purposes, let's talk about actually how to comment. Click down on the comment tab. This particular voice thread right here is about is from a man that talks all about his world travels and shares his pictures from one year of his world travels. And this particular picture is uh, taken at Machu Picchu. I thought it was gorgeous, and so I would like to uh, type in a comment. So I'm going to click on Type. And since I already am logged on, you'll see my picture. And I'm going to write in my comment. This picture is amazing. Um, I very much enjoyed viewing the world's pictures through your perspective. Have you created other voice threads from other trips? Now once I figure out what I plan to say, and here I think I'm going to leave it at this, I'm going to click on Save, and what you'll see is my picture has automatically come up here. And When you click on my picture, you'll see my speech bubble, and that will show my comment. And there's my comment right there. I'm going to X out of this. Other ways to place a comment is to telephone. You could use a phone to make a comment. To actually use your webcam that you may have on your computer or laptop to make a uh, comment, which then will show your face, record your voice to make a comment, or I think the easiest way to type. If I click on previous or to the first one, you'll see that many people, actually click it back to the first one, Many, many, many people have commented. Let's just listen to one comment. She actually decided to type. She said, you must be a professional photographer. Have you really been to all these places? I'm amazed. And this person wrote, it looks like paradise. If you're wondering how to teach your students what types of comments to make, you can tell them that while viewing pictures and listening to the comments, that have already been added by others, they can also, number one, gather facts. Just start jotting down things that are interesting to them. Number two, make connections. They can relate and compare things that they're viewing and hearing to things that they already know. Number three, they can ask questions. What about the comments in the presentation was confusing to them? What don't they understand? How will they find the answer? Remember that there's always questions in an active, thinker's mind. And number four, give opinions. They can make judgments about what they have seen and heard. Do they agree? Do they disagree? Do they like? Do they dislike? Do they support or oppose anything that they have heard or seen? And why? Comments based on these kind of statements make voice threads interactive and engaging. Students can use the following sentence starters to shape their thoughts and comments while viewing or participating in voice thread presentations. They can start off by saying, this reminds me of, this is similar to, I wonder, I realized, I'd like to know, I'm surprised that. Comments based on these kind of statements make voice threads interactive and engaging. Remember, 
VoiceThread has brought storytelling to the 21st century and allows stories to be shared around the world. Through the use of comments, VoiceThread creates an interactive environment in which individuals can share common interests and ideas. 